Hi there, I'm Soren Reef and I just got this MIDI interface for my revival drive. It makes me control all the main functions on the revival drive, turning on and off the overdrive, I can swap between the two channels, I can engage the mid boost and I can override the blend setting. It's made in Denmark by Peter Kusik, a friend of mine, I've known him for some years, so that's my disclaimer. It's very easy and fast to set up and um, you can use it with whatever box you have sending out program changes. I'm using it with my G2. Uh, so let's see how it works in my setup. Here's the box in my board and I've connected it with a standard TRS cable. I connected it with a standard MIDI cable from a G2 running through my Strymons and then into MIDI in here. And then I connected it to the power supply. It's a standard nine volt uh, power supply cable. And this version, the power connection is on top. You can also get a version with the power connection on the side if you prefer that. Uh, I've chosen this one to, because it takes up the least amount of real estate. The first time you are turning this one on, then you have to choose the MIDI channel that should be receiving. So I'm holding down these two buttons at the same time. And then it starts flashing. I hold them down for two or three seconds. Here it says MIDI. And you get a small overview, a small picture coming with the pedal where you can see the different combinations of these to choose between the different 16 channels. When everything is flashing like this, it shows me it's receiving on MIDI channel one and it's fine for me. And then I just press and hold till it flashes and then I release. And then it's just a matter of getting into edit mode. Uh, so it's ready to be programmed and ready to be used. Then I press these two at the same time. When it starts flashing, it's ready to be programmed. And then I say, oh, I want this preset. And you can see right now nothing is, has been chosen. My revival drive is off. It's ready to be used on the, on the silicon side. And then I want to turn it on, turn it on. The new revival drive is on here. You can see off again, off, here, on. Next preset, you don't have to save or store anything. It's, it's automatically, just as with the G2, this saves without storing or saving anything. It's just when you choose a new preset, what do you want for this? You, and you go for that. So in this preset, I want my arrival drive to be on and I want the blend function to be uh, overridden. And on this preset, I want my arrival drive to be on, the blend uh, should be overridden and then the mid boost should be engaged. For this preset, I want the mid boost engaged, the blend overridden, I want to swap to channel two and I want it to be on. And concerning the channel, you can see right now, here, this one, press this, then we go back to the silicon side, and here, back to the valve uh, rectifier side. And when I'm done programming, then I just hold down one of the switches here till this flashes, start flashing again, showing me now it's ready to be used. Now we're in play mode, and here you can see on, on with the blend, on with the mid boost, here, everything on, and we change for the other channel. Very easy, very fast, very convenient. Well, you can see, easy to set up, very easy to program. And it, if you have a MIDI switch box, box sending out MIDI program changes, it's super convenient if you also have a revival drive. And you don't have to use your TRS controls, you can use them for other things if you have such. And it doesn't take up that much real estate. So all in all, um, I think it's super, super nice to have a box like this. If you like videos like this, I would truly appreciate it if you would subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Till next time, hope you have a fabulous day. Stay cool. Hey!